Hamilton's companion does love to stitch It is Betsy Clager, she is a real hoot Maths is just tricky, cutting fabrics real hard She stitches with a pussy, and that's what she said Hi, Floss Tube. I had to go get Hamilton from our bed. She was cuddled up because we have a blanket on it now. And she was all curled up and she said, Oh no, Mommy's making a Floss Tube. She's coming to get me. <laughs> you can blame Nicola from Bumble Stitches, Hamilton, because she's the one who complained when you were not in my second episode. So ever since then, I've had to include you. I'm sorry. Say hi. She is purring. Hi. My name's Betsy Kleiger. Today is September 19, 2021. Two months till my birthday. Yeah, we start the countdown. Say hi. Um, I might put it in the title. There's a big warning. I'm on steroids. <laughs> so we don't know <laughs> how crazy this is going to be. I'll give you the backstory on why I'm on steroids after we stop admiring Hamilton. She's pretty calm now. Yeah? Is there anything else you want to say? The floss tube? No? Okay. Okay. That's it. <laughs> okay. So why am I on steroids? Well, okay, I'm trying to um, organize my thoughts here. I've been on steroids since Thursday because I had hearing immediate hearing loss in my left ear from this stupid acoustic neuroma tumor. Nothing to be alarmed about. Doesn't mean the tumor's bigger. Doesn't mean um, that anything has changed with the tumor. These symptoms, one thing I'm finding out, <laughs> about acoustic neuromas is tum the tumor size doesn't necessarily correlate to symptoms. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. It goes all over the place. And hearing loss, okay. I already had 50% hearing loss just before, but this immediate sensation of somebody taking like big cotton ball and sticking it in my ear started on Wednesday when I was going through Starbucks. I got in to see the ear, nose, and throat doctor on Thursday and started the course of steroids because sometimes these things go away with a course of steroids. So I am sacrificing my, my sleep <laughs> to try and get my hearing back. Um, I can't really hear how loud I am, so if my voice is really loud, I'm sorry. Um, I do have my hearing aid in my right ear but it's still, it's a weird feeling and I'm getting used to it, but hopefully it'll be temporary. Um, even though with this stupid tumor, I will wind up most likely deaf in my left ear at some point in time in my life. So this is giving me a taste of it and it's not the end of the world, okay? Spoiler alert, not the end of the world. Um, but as a result, I'm on a really high dose of prednisone and I feel like I could run a marathon, um, climb a mountain, do anything. In fact, I had trouble sleeping last night. So at six this morning, I took some Xanax and I slept till noon. So no shower. You, actually, I don't think my hair looks terrible and I don't really care because I'm on steroids. So now I'm going to thank everybody. That was a little bit of background on this stupid tumor. I don't even know where to start to thank everybody for the support on the stupid tumor sal, which is spelled S-T-O-O-P-I-D, tumor, T-U-M-O-R, all one word, sal, S-A-L, all one word. So it's the, Eng it's the American spelling of tumor, and it's the Betsy spelling of stupid, stupid. It's a stupid tumor, tumor. Oh boy. That reminds me of so many funny things that people have sent me. I just feel so embraced by the community for everybody who is um, 
stitching along, whether you're doing Elizabeth Adder, I always put a, put an R in there, Adelsey, or um, you're stitching something of your own and using the hashtag. It's fine with Nikki and, and me, Nikki Noodle, and I started the, the start along. So welcome al along with us uh, to the stitch along, start along, whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm doing great. Um, I'm going back to the ENT on Wednesday, see if the hearing comes back. He may or may not recommend another MRI um, to see if there's anything going on with the tumor. So what I have decided, um, based on my research and joining support groups for acoustic neuromas, is that I'm going to wait until February to get another MRI to see how the tumor is behaving if it's growing, and if so, how much, um, to then have the option of maybe radiation versus surgery. So that's where we are right now. Now this little bump in the road may result in a, an MRI sooner, in which case I will send it off to the specialists I've been consulting with and see if that changes anything, but I doubt it will. So I think we're just in watch and wait. I feel very good about if I do have the option of radiation, I think that's probably what I would do. So that's where I am. And mentally, I'm so much better than I was. Um, and it's all because of you. So that's all I want to say. And I'm going to be sending out little, little thank yous to everybody. I, I don't know if I'll show, I might have to show them here because they were sent to me by Jennifer Whistle Stop Stitcher. Um, and they're just so funny because if you can't laugh at things, you know, what's the point? Um, okay, so apologies in advance for going really quickly. You may have to slow me down, I don't know. Um, and also my voice, I don't know how loud I will be or I, I have no idea how loud I sound. So I'm just talking so that I can hear myself, but I don't know how loud I am. Okay, and I'm gonna be taking lots of sips of water because um, steroids make me talk even more than I usually do. No Diet Coke. Don't need caffeine right now. And I have a lot to show you. I don't even know where to start. I have a notebook. Excuse me. Oh, and I have a special insert uh, that I filmed of Scotty showing off some of my um, finished sewing projects. So I don't know where that will be inserted. Somewhere, somewhere in this. Um, I hope everybody's doing well today. It's beautiful here in Colorado. Um, okay, here are my notes for my next video. Episode 12. Oh my goodness, this is floss tube episode 12. Oh, where's the time go? All right, um, let's start with the stupid Tuma start along. Ellen Reed finished that sucker in two days or something. I'm, I'm sure I'm exaggerating. I'm looking in my basket of my floss tube stuff to show and Hold on. Then Gwyneth, Ms. Curling Stones and Stitches, uh, <laughs> Gwyneth, another Canadian. It's these Canadians, you know, they're, they're really, they show off, okay? They're show offs. I said it. It's my ring light. Hold on. Oh, I don't want to stand up. I didn't want to stand up on camera because I'm wearing my sleep shirt and my shorts and <laughs> I'm just a mess. So anyway, they put me to shame, Gwyneth and Ellen. I thought, how can I ask people to support me in a stupid Tuma start along and I haven't even finished it. So guess what? I have a start and finish. A SAF, if you will. Elizabeth Adelsey, spelled with an S. Elizabeth. Adelsey has an S in it too, duh. But Elizabeth, I spell mine E-L-I-Z. This is E-L-I-S-A-B-E-T-H. Adelsey. 
by Rebecca of Hedgerow Stitching. She's got beautiful designs, by the way. Um, I started this on September 12th. No, that's when I finished it. I started this on August 29. See my sticker that says started? Elizabeth Adelsey, Hedro Stitching. I used Seraphim 40 Count Bees Knees with DMC and Weeks Dye Works. I basically pulled what I had. Um, if, the, if I had the color she called for, I used it. If not, I substituted. And I am seeing so many of you who are doing the same. And some are stitching with silks, some are stitching with fancy floss, some are stitching with DMC combinations. The color combinations are absolutely beautiful. Well, so I finished mine, I already said, September 12th, one week ago. So I worked on this continuously. If I had been on the steroids, I probably would have finished it in three days. But I worked on this continuously from August 29 until September 12th. And you wanna see it? I know you do. I didn't press it. Can you see? Oh, come on. I could get a clip. Isn't that beautiful? Look, here's the thing. I'm not gonna point it out. It's full of mistakes, full of mistakes. Little counting, and I didn't do the last two little rows up here because I wanted to finish. But um, it's full of little mistakes. These things aren't even, and I didn't fix it on purpose. Because my tumor, my tumor, Unlike Hamilton, who's just walking in now. Hi, Hanny! My tumor is a huge mistake. So, this is a beautiful chart, a beautiful design, a beautiful finished object, and it can be beautiful with mistakes because I'm gonna, I'm gonna wind up fine after this whole tumor thing, right? I'm gonna turn out just as beautiful as this, even though I have a big mistake in my head. Is that is that too much of a reach? Or am I just being lazy? I don't know, but I love it. And I was thinking of finishing it into a pillow. Because then I thought, well, you know, if I go somewhere for surgery or go somewhere for radiation, I could take it with me as like a little good luck. So I might do that. Spoiler alert, in Stitchy Kindness, mine is gonna have a friend. Okay, I feel like I need to take a Xanax. I hope that you all notice a difference and that I'm not always like this, but I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that is, you know, normally I start with, well, I don't normally start with anything, but, um whips you know i would show you my whips um and that really was the only whip i had since my last floss tube because i recorded on august 29 and i started that right away right after the floss tube so i didn't have any whips except for that and it's already a finish so it's a new start a finish and a whip then i didn't have any other whips i had a new start and i'm going to show you that right now if i remember where i put it so I couldn't show you this in my last, I, I gotta move over, in my last floss tube because it was um, a secret until September the 1th and I filmed on August 29th. So I ordered the um, Jacob, Jacob, I can't quit you. By the way, Becca, of Sambri Stitching interviewed Jacob and the video is up today, September 19. So I know I'm competing with that. So if you haven't seen that yet, just stop this video, go watch Jacob 
and back on because that's going to be way better than what I'm putting up. Anyway, Jacob and Caroline, Caroline of Evertotes, that crazy Canadian, got together and put together this wonderful kit for September, Sampler September, and it is the Modern Folk Embroidery, I'm gonna get the hashtag wrong, so I'm just gonna put it in the description box, but it's a the Sampler for September for Modern Folk Embroidery 2021. Yes, yes to this, an Evertotes. This is my first Evertotes project bag. I was an Evertotes virgin. Isn't it gorgeous? Now, I am going to leave it up to the imagination because I don't want to offend any sensibilities, but you tell me, it's kind of like a Rorschach. What kind of obscene objects can you find in this design? Play that game with your friends. But it's gorgeous, gorgeous. It's a batik print, gorgeous project bag. And inside is my chart that's not upside down. It's called Mary Harry. And I, of course, ordered the bag, the chart, and the Leo and Roxy floss from Caroline. Oh, I didn't order the fabric because I'm an idiot, but then my friend Laura, Laura Duet, mwah, she has the 28 count Leo and Roxy fabric that was dyed just for this project. And she didn't like the 28 count, so she sent it to me and she even started it. So I'll show you the part she stitched. Um, she had a little start on it. <laughs> um, so that was cool. I don't know why I didn't order the fabric in the first place. I won't make that mistake again. Um, Leo and Roxy floss. See, okay, I have a little bit of bed head here, so I think we could just put it here. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's fine. Need a little trim here. Isn't this gorgeous? I love Leo and Roxy floss. I love it, love it, love it, love it. The colors are beautiful. It's, it's so soft. It doesn't knot, and I'm using two over two on 28 count. I'll tell you the color um, that, well, I have the piece, <laughs> I have the piece of paper it's written on that tells me what color it is. Back in the saddle. I'm back in the saddle again. Isn't that a song? It is now. Okay, you ready? And not only do you get the fabric, the chart, and the floss with the kit, this is what else you get. <gasps> Look, it's little Jacob in a puffy, puffy collar. He's so fancy. He's a fancy dude. He's a fancy dude, that Jacob. Is that not great? Okay, so Laura stitched the silver. I don't know if you can see there's silver. I don't know the name of the color, but it's the silver color and the blue. She had stitched this little silver up here do, 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 to here. So that was her start. And then I just took off from there. So it's a collaboration if it, if it were, as it were, if you will. Look at this. It says, stitch and be merry. Oh, I love it. So that's all I've been working on. And that would be the end of this floss tube if I didn't have so many people sending me things because, because they love me. They really love me. I, I'm for Clint. So much of this floss tube is gonna be showing you how much I'm loved, but also haul. I do have my own haul. So uh, <laughs> that's all I've worked on. Um, 
which I'm still gonna work on this today. I decided that I'm not going to let floss tube dictate that, oh, I've got to switch now because I want to have something to show. Um, we're going to stitch what we want to stitch when we want to stitch it. And that's okay. Excuse me. So where to start? Where to start? I know. Before I get to stitchy kindness. I'm going to do haul, but before I get to haul, I'm going to insert a video here of Scott showing the project bags that I made um, last week because I went on a project bag sewing kick thanks to Elizabeth Ankin Stitch's tutorial for the vinyl front project bags. I just made, I made a shit ton of them. There, I said it. You can bleep it out. I made a bleep ton of them and I'm going to show you that right now. Well look who's here. Hi Scott. Hi Betsy. Can you say hi to Floss Tube? Hi Floss Tube. What are you here to tell us about today? I'm here to tell you about a whole series of new bags. New bags? What do you have new wives? Oh I'm your old bag. Ha <laughs> ha uh, yeah. Oh, are these bags that I made? That's what you claim. Okay. Well, let's show them. These are project bags. Project let's bags. Show the first one. Here is... Are these foxes? I think that's what they are. Yes, they're foxes. Could you unzip it and show... We'll just do this on the one because they're all made the same to show how... Oh, it unzips and open it up and you can put whatever you want in there. I wonder if it would fit on your head. Oh, well, look, you could wear it as a hat. Perfect. Okay. Um, can we see the, can we see the back fabric? <laughs> you look like the Pope. Um, can we see the back? What are those? They look like zebras to me. Yeah, but in Australia and Great Britain, they say zebras. Well, that's just weird. Yeah. Okay, let's see the next one. We don't want to take all day with this. Oh, owls. Here, here we have owls on this side and bunnies on this side. Oh, wait, I don't really think we can make those out. Oh, look at the cute bunnies. Oh. Okay, can you turn around and show the owls? Thank you. Next one. This is quite nicely quilted, by the way. Well, thank you. It's not actually quilted, but there's batting on it. So I just, yeah. Okay. But I'm glad you approve of the construction. I have gotten a lot better, especially with my new sewing machine. Okay. Oh, we've got sheep. Yes. Oh, yeah, you are showing off your your um, painted nails. Okay, and turn it around, what do we have? <gasps> oh, birdies. Okay, thank you. And for those who don't know, why do you have long nails on your right hand? I'm a guitarist. Oh, and why do you paint them? I paint them so that they don't uh, get shredded by the guitar strings. Oh, there we go. It strengthens them. Okay. All right, the next bag, what do we have? Llamas or goats? I don't, I think Looks they're like goats. Looks like goats to me. Yeah, yeah, I think they're goats. I'm not very good at naming animals or naming nuts. Um, okay, what's the back? Oh, bugs. Yeah, they look like a kind of ladybug. Oh, they're cute. Okay, next one. The goats are wearing some kind of tartan. It just looks like a regular plaid, but... Okay, plaid. Okay. Some Scottish thing. Okay. What's next? Aha. Uh -huh. We have cats! Ah! We like cats. And what's on the back? Looks like some kitty-oriented words. Meow. Kitty. Purr. Oh, okay. Oh, 
More kitties. <gasps> oh, don't they look cute? They're having fun. And we have a very polka dotted background <laughs> on the back. Color coordinated. It's okay. Thank you. I don't know. Maybe there's a picture there if you look at just the right distance. Where yeah. You don't yeah. focus too clearly. Or put 3D glasses on or something. Something like that. Okay. Here we Floral have. Floral print. Yeah, this, this is French general fabric. For the, There's a line of fabric and it's French general. I've seen other project bags made out of this. So um, we've got little flat. Let, hold it up a little. So we see the flowers on the front, okay, and the back. Oh, isn't that pretty? Oh, and it's right side up. I, I learned how to do that, Scott, because in the beginning when I started making these, they, if I had directional print, I'd have them upside down or sideways, so, okay. Well, if it's right side up, that means it's left side down. Whatever, you're blowing my mind. Okay, is that it? Yes, it's it. Do you want to show this one? No, no, that's not one that we can show. It's not. No. Okay. Um, so how many that's... did did we did you just show? Seven. Okay. And Seven we... new project bags, courtesy of Betsy Klager of Floss Tube, Floss Tube International fame. There we go. Well, thank you so much for showing them. Um, I'm very proud that I made them and. The quality, I think, is quite good, if I do say so myself. Would you agree? They're very impressive and worth thousands of dollars each. No, they're not. They're not. All right, well, say goodbye to Floss Tube. Until next time, Floss Tube. Okay, now I'm going to show you my haul. Um, the reason I'm showing Stitchy Kindness at the end is because I don't, if you don't want to stick around for that, I understand I'm, my feelings won't be hurt. I won't even know, right? <laughs> you could totally just delete this video. How am I going to know? I won't be insulted. Um, so I'm going to show you my haul first um, because I had quite a lot of it. Now the Modern Folk Embroidery Sampler Kit, that was already, I just showed it to you. So check that off. Next, I have um, stickers. These are stickers I bought. I should have organized it before I came on here. So bear with me, because some of my stitchy kindness is the stickers. Okay, so the stickers I got, I got two different Etsy sellers here. The first one is J Cat Designs in Austin. I will eventually put links below. Oh, sorry, my ear's hurting. The thing is when you go deaf in your ear, you still have tinnitus or tinnitus and sometimes ear pain, I guess. I don't know, who knows? Um, I'm kind of afraid to take ibuprofen because of the steroids, I don't know. I don't want to pop too many pills. I'm a pill popper, Hamilton. She's down here sniffing around. Okay, so J Cat Designs. Think, think you know where this is going. These were in my cart for a long time before I pulled the trigger. <laughs> Oh, see, I made that noise and she left. Look at the cats doing different things. <laughs> and I got two of them. And Hamilton does all of these. She does this when she's hiding behind a curtain to play hide and seek, and then she jumps out and she does that. Okay, that's from JCAT Design. I, this is gonna be forever, this video, if I don't. I feel like I'm talking quickly. I know I'm, ta I'm probably talking loudly because that's what Scott says that I'm shouting all the time, but I'm afraid if I, I just, I don't know if you'll be able to hear me because I can't tell how loud I am. JCAT Designs, we'll put that over here. 
The second sticker order is from Penguins Papieri. Papieri? P A P. I can't read the writing. Papua? <laughs> put the link from Etsy. And I ordered these, and this seller is in South Portland, Maine. Wow. And these came quickly, as I recall. I don't mind the crinkly. I think it's ASMR. I have to do it. Can't hear that. Oh, this is their little, oh, it's Emily. Oh, she drew a picture of her cat on the back. Oh, and she says, thank you for the purchase. Now she can spoil her cats with more treats. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Cute. Oh, here it is. P-A-P-E-R-I-E. -E. Penguins Papery. <laughs> it's Penguins Papery. Duh. Oh. I am so oh, out of sorts. Not really. Sort of. We played Monopoly last night with Max and Ashley. Okay. Pot's legal in Colorado. Scott... And my son and daughter-in-law got stoned. I was the designated driver, plus I'm doing steroids. I didn't want it. And I don't, I don't really do, I don't smoke, do pot. I don't do pot. I don't take pot. Um, it, we're a very competitive family, and it was it was pretty funny. I felt really, really dizzy, so I didn't play the whole game. I, I don't know if it was the steroids or, you know, the monopoly, all the colors and everything, the overstimulation. I don't know, but <laughs> Max and Scott... Scott ended up winning, and it was hysterical. Um, but anyway, I don't know where I was going with this, but I just randomly popped into my head that we played Monopoly last night, um, and I don't know what that has to do with, with the. Oh, I think it was how I was thinking. Like, I, I had no strategy, <laughs> and Max was um, lecturing me about that, my lack of strategy in the game. Um, anyway, so I recommend these sellers. Service was fast, prompt. I got exactly what I thought I was getting for a decent price. Highly recommend. I am not being sponsored. When I, when I give um, a recommendation, it's because I really do use and believe in what it is I'm recommending, if that makes any sense. Except for Jacob. I mean, he just pays me because his stuff sucks. Modern folk embroidery, it sucks, right? But you got to feel sorry for the guy. So I promote him. Um, okay, what else did I get? My project bags that you just saw. I thought, well, I'm making so many of them, right? They're going to be nice gifts for people. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe they're crap. But uh, if I give them out for birthdays or... Even though I don't do Christmas, uh, Christmas presents, hello, yeah, any occasion for a present. <laughs> Arbor Day, give me a present. I'll give a present. Um, I ordered these little silk labels, and I noticed Caroline of Evertote has it on her bag. Where'd it go? Where'd the bag go? Right here. See, because she's so fancy, Caroline. You know, she's so pretentious. And uppity toity hoity that caroline she just thinks she's all that she's got to have a fancy silk label right <laughs> well if caroline has it i gotta have it and so it says betsy clager handmade and what you do is you fold it over like so right and it's gonna stick out of my bag so I'll remember, I'll remember that I made it. And then if I give one out for a present, they'll say, oh, Betsy Clager made it. And then when they decide that they don't like me anymore, they can throw it out, right? <laughs> I don't want any of that Betsy crap in my house. 
It was just a fun little order. Um, I got it at a place called Ever Emblem. Everemblem.com. So that was fun. Um, okay, so what did I get that is stitching related that I bought? I bought some fabric from Hobby House Needleworks. I decided I have 40 count fabric coming out of my ears. And as much as I enjoy 40 count, sometimes, like when I now that I'm working on this 28 count, it's like, oh, I don't need my magnifier or my headgear. So I wanted to diversify my portfolio. And I mean, I have some 36 count stuff, um, but I wanted to diversify. So what did I do? I contacted Hobby House in New York, Hobby House Needleworks. They're very fast in their service. And I ordered a fat quarter of 32 count summer car key and 32 count platinum. Both are Zweigart, they're not hand dyed, so they're very reasonably priced. Not that hand dyed is unreasonably priced. It is reasonably priced for the art that goes into it and the work that goes into it. But when I am on a stricter budget and I don't invest in the hand dyed, um, then I, my Zweig art is my go-to. But I absolutely think that hand dyed fabric is worth every penny, probably more than what we're charged for it. So I didn't mean to imply that Hand dyed fabric is not worth what we pay for it. Don't want the hand dyed artist union after me. Here's the summer khaki. Tried and true. 32 count. Don't know what it's for. It'll be for something. And the platinum is another staple that everybody needs to have. And I have it in my stash, but it's 40 count. So this is 32 count. I think I said that before, but if you weren't paying attention. Oh, and here's the platinum 32 count. It's lovely, lovely, lovely. When I was younger, we put towels on our head to make our hair longer. I look shiny right there. Um, anyway, yeah. It's a nice head scarf or linen for a cross-stitch project. Does my voice sound like it's cracking? It feels like it's cracking. Maybe I should make some tea, but not with caffeine in it. I don't think I need caffeine. So I told my, okay, so when we get to my son's last night, I, they had, you know, their little bong. <laughs> For those of you who are of a different generation where pot is not, it's like a gateway drug. It's not, it's like having a cocktail. To my generation, our, the culture I'm in, it's, it's like having a, a cocktail. But I told Scott, I said, you maybe want to, indulge because I've been bouncing off the wall since Thursday and maybe if his mental perspective has changed and he's relaxed a little more I may be a little bit easier to handle so that was my prescription for him and yes I did drive home don't drink and drive don't indulge in any pot and drive. Public service announcement. Okay. And no laws were broken. So I grew up watching I Love Lucy reruns. Which is really funny because I consider myself a feminist. And of course, you know, it's a 1950s sitcom where... Lucy only did what her husband let her do, supposedly, but she always outsmarted him. And in reality, Lucy pretty much was sort of the boss. I know Desi Arnaz was a producer and everything, but she was, I would say she was an equal in that whole, uh, the whole show thing. But 
I watched it because it was hysterical. And I just think Lucille Ball was the bomb. Personally, she might have been a dick. I don't know. I think she was. But Mad for Minders had an I Love Lucy needle minder. And I just had to because she's doing Rosie the Riveter. So that's another haul item. And I can't show this chart because it doesn't have a cover picture, but Pineberry Lane came out recently with Cats and Jack, no, Cats and Jacks on their website. And it is Halloween. It's a cat in a dress, uh, a pumpkin type scarecrow thing. That's Jack. Oh, okay, here are the names of the charts. Jack, Boo, that's the cat in the dress. Bittersweet is another cat in a dress. And Nastertiums, don't know if I said that right, it looks like another pumpkin in a dress. Oh, so they have, yeah, cats and pumpkins and dresses in clothes. How can you resist? So I got that. I'm turning the fan on, because I'm hot. I know it makes a little bit of sound, but y'all said it wasn't too bad, so. There we go with that. All right, oh, here is, this came out in what, Needlework Gallery? Gallery? It was uh, something that happened a couple weeks ago where all the designers met with the shops online and here are new releases, that kind of thing. I'm not articulating it well, but you know what I mean. Well, Mojo Stitches. Needlework Designs and Delights. Well, this delighted me. Let me tell you. This delighted me. It's called Mary Barton's Work. And it is a bird and flowers. And why don't I just show it to ya? Look at that! Is that not beautiful? I got this. I pre-ordered it from Top Knot Stitcher. And I made a copy of the front of it. Isn't it beautiful? But not only did I get, well, here's the, here's the original, okay? And it's in this, I got the flosses. <laughs> because Abby at Top Knot, no, not only will she say, oh, sure, you can pre-order the chart, but you can say, Abby, I'm really lazy and I don't wanna look through all of the colors. Could you put them all together for me and send it to me? And she does that. She does that. She's amazing. Amazing. Mm -mm -mm. I don't, this is, this is on my immediate radar, I think. I don't know. Um, let's see, what are the demand? Oh, it's only 84 by 90. Maybe I'll, oh, it is, the model is stitched on 32 count. Maybe one of my new 32 count fly guards. What do you think? And then Abby, that sweet knucklehead, as a Meow the Merrier design, gave me this little kitty chart that she designed for Meow the Merrier. And then I got a free chart from the Blue Flower from Janine with this order. Um, it's a free chart, but, you know, I'm just going to flash it. It's a cat in a pumpkin. Okay, so October was going to be, and you'll see in a minute why, it was going to be Modern Folk Embroidery Month. But I'm thinking it might be cats, pumpkins, Halloween stuff. I have to think about this. And I have to decide when I'm off of the steroids. I don't think I'm in a situation mentally, physically, where I should make any long-term decisions. What do you think? Maybe there's no change in my behavior, but I feel like I'm pretty hyper. But anyway, these cats and pumpkins in the Pineberry Lane, they're calling to me. And also Bart, Park Hopper Bart's chart, Bart's chart that I got from, I've shown, I showed it last one or the two floss tubes ago 
um, that he designed in collaboration with um, Caroline Evertotes. I got the, the floss for that. It's a Halloween chart. Think about that. Comment below if you have any suggestions. So that's pretty much all my haul stitchy related except for the floss trade. If you follow me on Instagram, you've already seen these. Okay, so Michael, who has a floss tube, Star Parade, he is awesome. Let me just tell you that. And I don't want to embarrass you, Michael, but I'm gonna. He is so sweet. He reached out to me because he knows not only am I going through, you know, a little bit of stress and anxiety with the medical stuff, but he also knows that I'm American. And he's in Europe. He's Polish, but I believe you're living in the United Kingdom. I can't keep it all straight. I think Jacob is in, De in Denmark, so don't trust me. Um, but he knows that Americans oftentimes are faced with medical emergencies, situations that end up bankrupting many Americans. The financial burden is um, significant. And he reached out to see if he could help with any kind of fundraiser. Um, to alleviate not only, you know, the mental and, and anxiety stress that I'm going through, but if I had any financial issues. Is that not, I, I was blown away. I, I, I was really blown away. And uh, what I told Michael is, I am one of the fortunate people in the United States. I have a very good job with very good health care coverage and a very generous leave policy because I've been with my company for a long time. So I am very, very lucky that um, financial concerns are not part of what I'm going through. And I feel extremely fortunate, but I know that's not the case for many, not only in the United States, but probably elsewhere in, in other places. But I just thought that was a really sweet gesture. And I was for Clint. Okay. I've had my moment. But not only did Michael do that, he uh, did a live, a YouTube live, and his screenshot was a photo that he had photoshopped. And I asked him if he would send it to me because I wanted to put it on my greeting cards. I was like, I never do greeting cards like for the holidays. I don't know what I was thinking. So instead I put them on floss tags. I went to Vistaprint. These are my floss tags, floss drops, whatever you want to call them. And this is all the artwork of Michael. This is me fighting my tumor. I was on a support group Zoom call today, and which was great. And uh, some people name their tumors. You know, like I name my sewing machines. I have Naomi and Fiona. And I thought, I don't know if I can name my tumor. What would I name it? It would be obscene. It would start with an F and with a K. <laughs> Head. <laughs> Face. Fill in the blanks. Um, but isn't that great? So these are my floss. And on the back, DMC number. I've already, Several of you have reached out to me to do trades. I am sending them to some people without trading because I just want to send them because who doesn't want to see me as Braveheart, right? I just thought it was funny. <laughs> these are, so I ordered these from Vistaprint. I'm doing, I think I'm going to send 10. Oh, my hair. Now the fan is blowing it. You can, oh, look at, woo! It's like, um, I'm shocked. Woo! That's pretty cool. Um, so while I was on Vistaprint, and I thought, I'm going to be mailing stuff out. Had to get return labels, right? Now I'm going to show my address labels without showing my address. Let's see if I could do that. Okay, this is the address label. <laughs> my address will be over here. <laughs> and that's Hamilton. That's Hamilton. She thought my return address labels. I thought that was cute. But I didn't stop there because some of the things I'm sending have little 
package it's wrapped in tissue paper or envelopes that need a little sticker. That was my Vista print order. That's it for haul. Now let's go to Stitchy Kindness. But first I'm gonna take a break because I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat an energy bar. Like I need it. Maybe I should eat something else. Be right back. Okay, I've had a little snack. I'm now gonna show you Stitchy Kindness. In no particular order because I'm not that organized but also each time I got something I was so overwhelmed and verklempt I, 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 I didn't know what to say and that never happens I'm gonna start with what's right in front of me here I showed you the the fabric Laura sent me Laura duet of uh, she is the serial starter. Everybody knows Laura, Brenda, and the serial starter. She sent me the fabric to do the um, Modern Folk Embroidery Mary Harry. I always want to say Harry Mary. Um, and not only that, she sent me floss drops. Huzzy and floozy. And he's too cute. And it says, happy stitching from Brenda and the serial starter. Thank you, Laura. And they even... I love this. They put an X where to make the punch. And by the way, when I send mine out, I'm not punching them. <laughs> you can, you all can punch them. And I don't expect to receive any that are, that are punched. Okay. Vanessa. We all know Vanessa. She is a floss tube floozy. <laughs> and member of Zoom groups that uh, I've had the pleasure of meeting her online, and she's a doll. She's a doll! She's in Pennsylvania. And I admired her. Uh, uh, she had a needle minder I admired, and she said she was thinking of sending it to me, but she was too shy to ask me for my address. <laughs> Vanessa, don't you be too shy with me. My life's an open book. I just almost showed my whole address of my return labels. <laughs> But she sent me this, and this is from Mad for Minders. Sugar-coated compressed tablets for flatulence. Scott's peeking through the door. I'm taking my flatulence medicine, Scott. Ah! Okay, speaking of flatulence, Scott, who never farts, He's taking advantage of my deafness and he dropped one last night in the living room without saying anything and tried to blame Hamilton for it. It almost killed me. Almost killed me! So, he is not without flatulence. So maybe I should share this needle minder with Scott, except he doesn't stitch and he's sneaking behind me now. What the hell are you doing? Oh, okay, well that's a good way to, to take care of my tumor. Just just off me and you don't have to worry about it. Collect my life insurance. Yeah, okay. You've already made an appearance in the floss too, by the way. I, it, I, I'm inserting your video before this part. Okay, be off with you. Go watch soccer or something. Bye. Bye, floss tube. <laughs> Okay, if only that were real flatulence medicine, I would put it in Scott's coffee. But not only did Vanessa send me that, she sent me this gorgeous DMC. It's color 4135. I love this color. I, I wear these colors. When I used to get dressed to go out, <laughs> I wore these colors a lot. Um, it is, it's, it's got a sheen to it. Vanessa, I don't know. Is this a special, I, it's got to be a special, Moulin, oh, M-O-U-L-I-N-E, is that Moulin? It's a special DMC floss. 
gorgeous. You know, this would be perfect in Halloween stitching. And of course she sent me a lovely card because she's Vanessa. The best things in life aren't, wait. The best things in life aren't things. And she is absolutely right. She sent me a lovely note. It made me cry. There's tear marks on it. I save all my cards, put them in my floss tube notebook. And she sent me a snag nabbit. Doesn't sound like something you would say, like, dag nabbit, snag nabbit. And I haven't used it because I wanted to show it in my floss tube. So this is going in my notions kit. I'm going to put that over here right now. And then, of course, Vanessa knows I love to laugh. She sent me this little chicken. Guess what? Chicken butt. Isn't the word butt funny? I don't care who you are, what station in life you are. You might pretend that butt is not a funny word, but deep, deep down, you know it is hella funny. And that's all I have to say about that. I'm gonna put my I Love Lucy with my mad for with my flatulence now because they're both mad for minders. Thank you, Vanessa. You just you really touched me, touched my heart. <laughs> Vanessa is on Instagram, and I so I will put her information below because she does some lovely stitching. Lovely. Okay. So, Jennifer, Whistle Stop Stitcher. Now she sold the Whistle Stop. So, are you changing your name, Jen? People want to know. You can't really, because then we won't know who you are. You'll pop up on Instagram and floss to, golly, what the, what the? <laughs> we won't know who you are. So you can't change. Don't change. And um, Jennifer, actually this is her husband, had an idea of something to send to me that I could send to people who are doing the stupid Tuma start along. And before I show you what that is, look at, she put a little kitty clip. <laughs> Can you see that? With a postcard, eggplant, enough said. Jennifer, you're so immature. <laughs> Look what she sent. She sells stickers. She's, um, I showed last time the stickers that I put in my um, book of days that you can put a start and a finish. She makes those. I'll put her shop below. But look what she made. It was her husband's idea, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin, if you're watching this. You're obviously the brains behind Whistle Stop Stitcher. We know. Arnold, stupid Huma. Yes, you too may be a recipient of the Arnold Stubatuma sticker. And there's more where these came from. Thank you, Jen and Kevin. You made my day. Honestly, if I, if I couldn't laugh about everything, I, I don't know where I'd be. I really don't. I, I just don't. And uh, maybe the steroids are helping my mood. I don't know. I'll take it. Um, so, coming to a mailbox near you. Thank you. Um, I'm trying to separate out things so I don't. Oh, I forgot to send, I forgot to mention this last time that Caroline of Evertotes. I don't know if it's because she thinks I'm a hussy. 
It could be. I, I, I probably am a hussy. Hussy? Hussy? But look what she sent. Hussy. Leo and Roxy. Oh. Oh. So I was um, Zooming with the Joan Sands start along group. You know, the, the two Australians, three Canadians, and three Americans. And I kept asking, oh, would this red sampler, would I have enough hussy to do this red sampler? And Ellen Reed would say no, because <laughs> I have no idea how much it takes to do any kind of sampler. But I think I can make a little small one monochronomic. That's not the right word. Monochrome? One color? In a beautiful. Or maybe I'll just put it with my stash, use it for when I need a pretty maroon. But it's called Hussy. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Caroline. You crazy Canadian. Canuck you. Oh, that sounded like I was swearing at you. Canuck you! I wasn't. I was just saying you Canuck you. Right? All right. Abigail. Abby. Okay, I wrote down your Instagram here. Abby J. Just because she's sweet. She's thinking about me doing the stupid Tuma. Sal. Guys, she made this. She made this. Be strong, be happy, be you. Is that not gorgeous? Gorgeous. She wrote me a lovely note. Put a little tuxedo cat sticker in it. And then she also included this sticker. These stickers. Oh, look. Look at the cats. Oh, yeah, that's the way it goes, <laughs> I think. Well, here's one. <laughs> Am I making you sick? <gasps> oh. <laughs> I know Nikki's jealous. She loves these stickers. I'll share. I will put them on correspondence and presents, maybe. I put them in my floss tube journal. Oh, I also have a Tuma journal that I, a notebook that I keep to take notes on, you know, research, discussions with experts and all that stuff. And so I stick in stickers to make me happy. And Arnold's definitely going in that, in that notebook. Abby, thank you so much. This card uh, is just amazing. I, you're so creative and uh, look at that. Make a girl feel loved. All of you. Okay. Next. Jenny Stitching Simply. I just recently discovered her floss tube and, you know, watched the most recent episode where she showed um, her project for the stupid Tuma start along. And so now I've gone back to the beginning of her episodes because if you haven't found Jenny Stitching Simply yet on Floss Tube, what are you waiting for? I'll link her below. By the way, the links, everything in the description box will probably be in there within the next day or two. So just please give me some time. First of all, she's gorgeous. So. You want to hate her, right? But she's nice. So, <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do? Um, she did the stupid tumor sow. And she finished it. And guess what she did with it? You guessed it. 
she finished it into this beautiful pillow with these cute little buttons and sent it to me. I hope there's not energy bar in my mouth when I do that. Look at that. Look at that. I, before I got this, I was thinking I wanted to have a little pillow of this to take with me for good luck to appointments or treatment or whatever I do with this stupid Tuma. And now I have one. I don't have to wait to do mine. I, I, I didn't know what to say when I, I, I got it. I, I sent her a, a message on Instagram. I, I, would, I didn't know what to say. The thoughtfulness that went behind this. Uh, and then she didn't stop there. I mean, she sent me a lovely card. I mean, everybody's sending me lovely cards. When, uh, but she did. She sent me uh, floss tags. Aren't they beautiful? And then she's going to get stuck with me as uh, Mel Gibson in, uh, what's the movie? <laughs> Just the movie went right out of my head. Braveheart. I'm going to send Braveheart to this, in, in, to trade with these beautiful. It's kind of embarrassing. Sorry, Jenny, but that's what you're going to get. Go check Jenny out. She's amazing. And she has two boys and a husband that break their bones doing crazy things on bicycles. So, God bless ya, Jen. God bless ya. And Ellen Reed. Ellen Reed of Maximum Cross Stitch Hour, but we all know Ellen Reed and love Ellen Reed because she's a literal, literal rock star and my wife. <laughs> she bought some fabric that she had bought before and forgot that she hated <laughs> the color. <laughs> I would never do that. Good thing we're all different, because I think it's beautiful. I don't know if it's showing up here. She described it as like an ugly pink, but it's really more a peach. And you could tell by the color of this wall that I, I like peach. And it's 40 count X-Ju X design, which I've never tried. I'm an X-Ju design virgin, no more. I think it's a half yard. A fat half. <gasps> Beautiful. Oh, it hides my double chin. Thank you, Ellen. But Ellen didn't stop there. Now, two of the things she sent me are gone. I already ate them. Apparently, you Canadians have this thing called a coffee crisp that's, like, amazing. It's a wafer with chocolate that's a very light, tasty snack. And I ate them both. I did, I shared with Scott, but he wasn't as fond of it as I was. So I ate those. But Ellen didn't stop there either. She knows I'm a silk <clears throat> enthusiast. And she sent me a Vera Soie to add to my collection. Beautiful, beautiful colors. Thank you, Ellen. You're a good wife. You're a good wife. And she didn't stop there. I got charts that Ellen has thumbed through. How many of you can say that? How many of you can say that you have a chart that Ellen Reed thumbed? Hmm? We need to join a club, an exclusive club. And yes, I'm gonna show you every single one because they are drool worthy. Drool worthy. 
for, look at this. Look at this cartoon. Six rounds, nine lives. You do the math. It's a mouse with a gun. <laughs> That's for you, Kathy. Tazzy Kathy, who hates cats. <laughs> uh, yes, send all the hate Instagram messages to Kathy. She hates cats. <laughs> okay. His eye is on the sparrow. I didn't have this chart. And now I do. And Ellen Reed thumbed it. I could do this with Hussey. Stacy Nash Primitives, Little Red Work Pin Keep. Is that not adorable? I'm really into red work, red samplers now. Stacy, Stacy, Stacy Nash Primitives. Kindly Stacy is what it says it's called. Oh. I'm reading the back. Paris, 1902 Paris sampler bag. The, I was reading the back when I, this is the title of it. I don't know if you could see it. The picture's kind of dark, but it's made into a little bag. And so what I was reading is the back, which has the fabric that you make the bag, you can use to make the bag, or they use to make the bag. And it says, kindly Stacy. <laughs> I thought that was the name of the pattern, but no. Oh, oh, oh. oh I have wanted this. And I. these are all, I don't have these. Um, Antique Birds and Cages by Shakespeare's Peddler. This one. Um, Ellen had sent me a picture and with some charts that said, you know, would you be interested in these? And... She sent this, this was in the picture, and I said, I don't do Christmas. She said, what, what does the snowman have to do with Christmas? Or something to that effect. <laughs> oh, frosty. Uh, it's winter. It's not Christmas. Why am I so hostile to Christmas? I'm not. I'm really not. I just don't stitch it, but I'm not hostile to it. But apparently I was. No, no Frosty. Anyway, I'm glad Ellen bonked me on the head figuratively and reminded me that this is winter. Is that cute? Okay, this one, oh my goodness. It's called Glorious Sampler. Clo Radmi Designs? Clo Radmi. Clo I'm having trouble with my eyes apparently. Look at this. Another red sampler. Stunning. If I'm not mistaken, you have this hanging in your house, Ellen Reed. Or something similar, but I think it's this one, since you've already thumbed this. Oh, Blackbird. It's spring fever. Rosewood Manor, inspiration. Oh my, oh my, I don't even know what word to put in there. Oh my potato, oh my eggplant. What do you say to that? What do you say to that? And I saved the best one for last because Ellen knows how much I wanted to stitch the pooping dog. I found him right away. Uh, I'm not even going to try to pronounce this, but I think you all have seen it. Stacy911 Stitcher is working on this, or has it, and is about to work on it. But Ellen finished this. Ellen Reed finished this. This is a well-loved Ellen Reed pattern. Oh, see, I'm thumbing it just like Ellen did. Oh. <laughs> For those of you who are new, I hope this isn't your first video. 
If it is, stop it now and go watch another one where I'm not on steroids, okay? Thank you, Alan. Your generosity knows no bounds. But I know you're expecting lifely favors from me. <laughs> oh, Ellen, you are, you're amazeballs. And last but not least, we have Jacob. Remember when I said Jacob, that he pays me and that I really think he's just mediocre and really not that good. I totally lied. Jacob, modern folk, embroidery Jacob, is a genius. And he can sing Anya. I don't wanna know how he can do it. I, I have ideas of how, what's going on, but watch his latest plus two. And watch him with his interview of Sam Bree Stitches, Becca today. If you haven't discovered Jacob, I don't know where you've been living, but he is an amazing designer and he's prolific. That means he, he puts out a lot. He puts out. Jacob puts out. But I know some of you know that he can be, you know, a total dick sometimes. He's very macho, you know, thinks men are, you know, the boss, he's very patriarchal, that Jacob. But he has a soft side. He does. And he felt sorry for me, as he should, because I was going through this little blip on the screen, as it were, in my life. And do you know what that Jacob did? He didn't send me a bag of rocks, which is what I would expect. No, he gifted me patterns, four patterns, not just any patterns, his new releases. I, my printer's out of ink, so I'm showing you. AIO 1844, he talked about this in his last floss too, and this is for Black Sampler November. But I gotta get my hands on the Leo and Roxy charcoal or chalk? Charcoal or chalk board? Can't remember. Have to look. Isn't that gorgeous? And this one he talked about on his floss tube, Love Gains, by this girl, Margaret, who died at age nine. Very sad. And he shows the original sampler and tells the story. Isn't that gorgeous? I mean, the picture on my phone doesn't really do it justice. But he gifted me those. And then before my printer ran out of ink, I printed out the Hughie chart, the Moonshine Cabin, and I am waiting for the Fabric and the Floss from Caroline of Evertotes. You can order these kits and get a bag with it. Um, I, because I've spent a small fortune on fabric to make my own fabric bags, I did not order the bag from Caroline. but. Um, if you want the whole, I hope, I don't know if there's still any available, the whole kit, but I know Nikki Noodle got one for $5 Australian. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh. And he also gifted me, I am no bird. I have his other um, Jane Austen chart that I haven't started yet. Jacob, you do have a heart. You're like the Grinch. Your heart's grown. Seriously, thank you, Jacob. You are so much better than Darcy. Darcy stitches his stupid Tuma stitch along on the toilet. I also want to mention Kaylee, who stitched a Betsy bird instead of Barry bird. So I'm going to tag her below. It's so cute. And I, you said something about the Hamilton berries. I have to go check and see if you've stitched the Hamilton berries. But I have to go look because you did a, Kaylee, you've done, you did your ASMR, which I haven't watched yet. And then the one before the lot. Okay, Kaylee, 
she's in Baltimore and she does her lives at like 7.30 in the morning Colorado time. Uh, no. Even if I'm not on steroids, I sleep in past 7.30 on the weekend, okay? So could you schedule them during a time when I can join and be awake, please? <laughs> thank you. But thank you for doing Betsy Bird. This has gone on way, way longer than I wanted to. But I wanted to mention one more thing, and I promised this was not gonna be the tumor channel. But I wanted to tell you a story about my sister Jenny when she was 13 years old. She had to wear a wire thing. Like a, it was kind of like the headgear, but not with a, without this stuff. It was just a night brace thing. She had to wear it for two years. And that, if, if it moved her teeth properly, she would not have to get braces, a full set of braces. But that was on the table. She was probably gonna have to get braces. Every day for two years, or whatever length of time it was, she told herself, this is gonna work. I'm not gonna need braces. And I'm telling you that story because that's what I'm saying about two things. Number one, my hearing is going to come back with the steroids. It just is. It'll still be at 50%, but my hearing is gonna come back. So I'm telling myself that. The other thing is I tell myself every day, the tumor is not growing. The tumor is not growing. And, I, and Jenny ended up, oh, I forgot to tell you the end of the story, she didn't need braces. But I did. My parents waited two years, so I had it when I was in high school. French kissing with braces at 16 was a nightmare, let me tell you, but that's for a whole other episode. So the moral of the story is I'm willing myself that it's not growing. I'm going to get my hearing back for this temporary blip, and everything's going to be fine. And even if it doesn't go the way I want, I'm still going to be fine. And I'm still going to be here, and you all are going to give me great joy in knowing that you're behind me and you're sharing all the love and anything I can give back to you, which I will be doing. I have little piles of mail. If I could just get my butt to the post office, I will. But everything's going to be fine. Everything is, it's not the end of the world. And um, I just can't tell you how happy I am to share all of my stitching and even my life with you. And uh, thank you for giving back to me tenfold. Love you all. See you in a couple weeks. Bye. Mwah.